And that's what it's about. And, and, and when they don't heal from it, then they don't, right? Same thing with, with ayahuasca. They don't heal from it. And talk, 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 man, the plant, play, base, the plant gurus are all about money. They are They're all about money. Exactly. You guys get it, right? Like you guys understand this. Yes, yeah, shrooms are a neurotoxin. That's right. They're all the varieties that are plant-based versions for plant plant medicine versions. I'm not talking about portobello, sh sh shiitake, portobello. I'm not talking about button mushrooms. I'm not talking about um, chanterelles. Chanterelles. I'm not talking about those. They don't have that chemical compound, that acid-based chemical compound that's a, that's that's a neuro inhibitor, neuro damager, right? It's not healing. It's messing with your brain. It's not healing you. It messes with your brain, right? Anna says, this is why I've been single for 20 years, too sick. It breaks my heart knowing you've gone through that. It does. And, and uh, Michelle L. says, men like shortcuts. And this isn't, listen, you guys, I'm not trying to rank. It's not, there's some, there's good men out there. I know incredible guys. It's all that. It's, it's, I'm just giving you the rundown of what's happening in the health scene. Right? It's true. Men want shortcuts. You just see when men get sick. Men get sick, they fall apart. If, if a man experienced the same symptoms as women, all the neurological symptoms, aches and pains, tingles and numbness, fatigue, severe brain fog, the, the man, I've seen this over and over for 35 years, the man just can't handle it, falls apart, crying like a baby, crying like a baby, crying like a baby. And there's women that can go through all this and just, and, and literally in whole, it's amazing what the strength in women. It's just un, un, unbelievable. Not just men. Arby says, not just men. I, I have lost almost all my friendships from being too sick. So you completely understand. Gurus take advantage of this. Gurus take advantage of this. So they, they dangle these, these psychoactive drugs, right? Get women on these psychoactive drugs. That's going to fix you. Here, here's another psychoactive drug. That's going to fix you, right? So the gurus, the men gurus, they're men gurus. That's, that's who, who's at the top of that. It's all about psychoactive drugs in a legal way for all those sick women. That's what it's about. I know I'm not making more friends. I know I'm losing, not, well, I, I'm losing potential friends in the industry, I'm sure, right? But it's either I watch your back or I work for them. Do you want me to work for them? Do you want me to work for all the, the gurus out there that are doing all the plant medicine, the psychoactive plant medicine? Do you want me to work for them so I don't step on anybody's toes? Who do you want me to? I work for you guys. I wake up in the morning and work for you guys. I work for God and I work for you guys. Black Lock Flock says, how do we heal from psychedelics? Mineral salts, mineral salts, glucose. Mineral salts, glucose. Versus says AW protects us. Mineral salts, glucose. Right there. Mineral salts, glucose. And I could teach you all the different ways. Catherine Glasso says, you're, you're right, right? Do I need them? Hey, Mace, you're a dude, right? I think, right? Right? Like, do you, do you, do you, do I, do I need them? Do I need these, all these gurus? Do I need to stay friends with all these gurus to make sure I don't step on toes? Do you want me to just befriend all the cacao the cacao industry and all the dudes that just need women jacked up on 90% cacao. So they're addicted to caffeine and the rest of other psychedelics, right? Or actually meaning psychoactive drugs and psychedelics too. Do you want me to like, it, this is what I'm up against. It's like you wake up in the morning, you're like, you know what? I'm going to not make another friend. I, I, just, I, <laughs> I mean, right? So it's important to know. And it's all about women, Right? And then you know what's going to happen? Another fake story is going to come out on me. There's not one story out there that's right. There's not one story that's straight. I've looked, you know, and the thing is, I, it, it's unbelievable on how many fake stories and how much discrimination and how much spiritual racism against me. It's, it's the, the racists that literally hit me hard, the racists. It's unbelievable, the spiritual racists. Because he hears a voice. You know, he hears a voice. He's saving people on the planet. Let's just attack every aspect of his spiritual nature. Let's attack it. It's a spiritual racism. 
So I have to deal with so many racists. It's unbelievable, right? And discriminators. It's incredible, really. It, it's amazing. Anyway, let's make the sauce, you guys. Let's get going on the sauce. <laughs> but yeah, and, and yeah, that's what's going to happen. Because what's happening is you just get somebody else mad that they're like, whoa, you just hurt my psychedelic, you just hurt my psych psychedelic shroom business and we need women hooked on shrooms and now we're going to go and write, we'll write a story about you hear a ghost. You actually don't speak to anything, but you just think you hear a ghost. Yeah, spiritual discrimination. Yeah, and racism. It's, it's, it's incredible, really. All right, let's make this. I'm putting some cherry tomatoes in here. I'm going to put the... Um, but you guys, it's about having your back, and that's it counts no matter what. Let's get some cherry tomatoes in here. The thing is, is that with women, the women get sick, and yeah, and they, they lose friends. They lose friends. They lose relationships, right? They lose friends. They, they, they lose relationships. Um, I, oh my God, when I used to help people one-on-one, -on -one, I can't tell you how many women were on the phone, and they're like, I... I'm, I'm engaged to be married. I just got the worst thyroiditis Hashimoto's diagnosis. My husband doesn't even know what that, my fiance doesn't even know what that means. And him and his family are just like confused because how, what does this mean? Is it genetic? Are my babies gonna be genetically injured? And, and I heard it every day on the phone. Every single day. All the phone calls I had to do and the people coming walking into my office every single day I heard this over again and again and again. Women coming into the office crying, saying, Anthony, I, I just lost my relationship because they can't handle these the symptoms and they can't handle the fact that I have to go to a doctor once a week. And they, you know, and you know, so the thing is with the industry, the industry wants you sicker so you have to look for drugs for relief, whether that's through plant plant medicine that's not the good stuff or pharmaceuticals but I heard this over and over and over again you know so I'm making um, I'm making this right now caffeine industry the alcohol industry you think the alcohol industry wants women to stop drinking they love when you drink they love it they love it so that's something to kind of think of too right Keep women on alcohol. Keep women on lots of alcohol. What a great thing to do. I mean, they want men on alcohol too, of course. But the industry, the industry wants women on alcohol and caffeine. But women change the world. That's why they want women mostly on it, because women are the world changers, you know? You, you injure women, you keep them addicted. You keep them down. Keep women down. If you keep women down, then then the in, then then world change doesn't happen because women are with strong women are the ones that make the change, right? The ones that actually make the changes. Alcohol is a big business, PPV Acaro. Yeah, and I'm not saying look. You want to have a drink? I hope you still come and watch these lives. You want to have a drink? I hope you still come on TikTok and watch these. Like I, I get it. I'm not I'm not sitting here. I'm not I'm not shaming anybody. That's not it all. It's not it at all. So, hope for healing. Yeah, the Wyman's Wild Blueberry Juice is better than wine. That's it right there. Incredible. Life's hard, so I get why people drink. That's the other thing, too. Let's make life hard for women so women have to turn to alcohol. Because that's the other thing. There's so much darkness in the world that... It's about making it hard for women so they have to turn to caffeine and alcohol. Let's make women sick so women have to turn to making the hot sauce right now. So women have to turn to alcohol, right? I put the cherry tomatoes in. I'm going to steal a couple of red bell peppers in here for the sauce because I used all my red pe bell pepper just now. I'm going to put a couple in here, right? So I'm making this, the hot sauce right now. Putting some lime in here. You're bringing wild blueberry juice to your parties? Incredible. Incredible. This is a really juicy lime. It smells so good. This is a medical medium hot sauce that's on the medical medium blog. Letting you guys know. Medicalmedium.com. Making the hot sauce as we speak right there. I'm going to put some honey in here. Right? 
Put some honey in here. It's going to be a great sauce. Marissa says, AW advocates for women always. I'm honored. I'm honored to feel that way. Whoopi Heel, do you not realize how many men are addicted to alcohol? Laugh out loud. Men? There's not a man on the planet that drinks alcohol, right? I didn't know. I didn't know that men drink alcohol. I thought it was just women. Here's the difference, though, right? The difference is, is that the alcohol industry is a man's industry, right? It's a man's industry. Just telling you, alcohol industry is a man's industry, right? Once again, a man's industry. You know, all the, all the health gurus that, that propel that plant medicine stuff, the psychedelics and the, and the psychoactive drug versions, right? The caffeine. Or it's a man's industry, right? You didn't know that? It's all men. And then, yeah. How do we keep women addicted and high? How do we do it? Because if women wake up one day and they beat that addiction and we lose all those customers, how do we control? What's going to happen if women have full empowerment? Full empowerment. Unstoppable empowerment. And they're not relying on their addiction. Forget it. The earth is going to change. Whoa, earth is going to change. I'm not shaming anybody. I'm not faulting anybody. I'm going to put a hot pepper in here. Put a hot pepper in this hot sauce, sauce right here. Got that hot pepper. That's uh, super chili I just put in there. Just You may not want it that hot. You may just want a couple of, um, you may just want a couple of chili pepper flakes, right, in your hot sauce. Okay. Let's fire this up. I, uh, I got the food processor, food processor on right here. Okay. Let's get this going. Just making a sauce real quick, you guys. Could show you if you want, if this cord will go through, and I think it will. I think I can show you guys, right? Pulsing it. See it on TikTok? Amanda, you love this? Cool. So, talking about this is all right? I'm honored. Women are the number one target. No salt, holla, 567 on IG, no salt added, no salt added. Women are the target when it comes down to all of that, right? Women are the ones that are sick. Right? Because I talked about their immune system dropping and how it works. How that all works. Seaweed Hero. Yeah, it's a denim shirt. I hope that's okay. Okay, I'm going to pour this hot sauce in here. See that? That's the hot sauce right there. Can I just move this over? You guys are you okay with this? Doing a little bit more, I think, cooking today on here. Because um, I know that that was requested. A bunch of people are like, well, you're not showing us what you're making. You're not talking about it. You're, you're usually on a talk, right? I'm going to put a little hot sauce in here. This is incredible, this hot sauce. Putting it on these potatoes and the steamed red bell peppers and mushrooms and onions, right? A little bit of that hot sauce on there. This is so good. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to chop up a little parsley really quick for you guys. Let me do that. Let me get a little parsley going. Just bear with me for a second. Let me just get a little parsley. Get a little bit on here like that. Let's get some green onion on here too. Right? little green onion. Just peel back this onion a little bit. All right. A little bit of green onion on here if you guys are okay with that. A little bit of green onion on here. Boom. 
amazing. Right? So that's my potato bowl with the hot sauce dripping on there. You guys see that on IG, TikTok, right? I got the mushrooms in here. I got the shrooms in here. Portobello mushrooms, right? Green onion is bomb. Soul, soul heal, right? Everyone will question, what was that? Everyone, everyone with questions should spend their time reading his books. Question. All the answers are there. Whoa. You guys, the moon meditation tonight, I'm doing it. I did it last night. I'm going to do it t tonight, tomorrow night. Tonight's the night to do the moon meditation for sure if you're going to do it. Medical Meme Podcast at Apple Podcast, right? The moon meditation. You guys, seriously. Uh-huh. Looks delish. Love onion. What causes mitral valve prolapse? Give you guys a couple of hints on that. Let's get the heart out. All right, which heart should I grab? We're talking about autoimmune and ly Lyme, too. Lyme disease. I want to talk about that a little bit. We're talking about autoimmune, too. But let's talk about mitral valve prolapse, right? Why does the mitral valve, why do the valves, it's not just mitral valve. Why do all the valves prolapse? Why do the heart valves prolapse, right? Because of pressure. Because of pressure, okay? One of the reasons why the mitral valve and the other valves prolapse is because of the liver. The liver gets stagnant, sluggish, and fatty. So then... The, the heart has to kill itself to, suck, to pump your blood. It's like sucking jello through a straw because the liver starts getting inflamed, filled with fat, right? Even if it's, the liver's not inflamed, it's just filled with fat and you're getting that fatty liver, right? It's year after year of your heart killing itself to suck up, to suck up that blood from the liver, to suck up the blood into the heart. So your heart has to now really really work and when it's really pumping hard to get that to get that blood through the valves start to actually start to weaken it's the tissue in the valves start to, to weaken so you can get the prolapse so they go backwards so then the valves go backwards a little bit right because of the pressure of years of battling high fat diets too and then we're on this high fat diet all of us high fat diet high everybody's fatting themselves to death they're eating lots of fat yum 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 lots of fat left and right all this fat right whether you're plant-based and you're doing more fats nuts seeds oils olive oil coconut oil right mct oil you're just doing fats 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 right and then or your animal protein you're doing chicken milk cheese butter eggs and you're doing also plant fats, but you're fats, 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 fats. Your blood's so thick, your heart's killing itself, killing itself. And then everybody later on, they get the mitral valve prolapse, right? Tricuspid valve prolapse, right? Aortic valve prolapse. So, boom, I'm just giving you a couple of quick things on how that works. It's one reason. I I'm, I'm miss which hot sauce? Doby, which hot sauce? It's the uh, Medical Medium hot sauce. You can find it on medicalmedium.com on the blog, right? It's a hot sauce. Post it on IG. Do, do the moon meditation tonight, for sure. Incredible. What What's the best pan to put, cook with? Just medicalmedium.com to the kitchen supplies on there. You can see the different stuff on there. Let's, let's cover autoimmune for a couple of minutes, Marissa. Does that sound good? I see that. So I actually want to eat this so bad right now. So we'll talk about autoimmune. Everybody's going to be diagnosed with autoimmune coming up. It's on its way. And we're already getting that now, right? Everybody who has a symptom or, or, or any kind of experience with their condition, boom, it's autoimmune. It's all falling into the autoimmune categories. That's where it's heading right there, autoimmune. And um, Tara Farrell says, wow, your information is amazing. Thank you. You make it so easy to understand. I am a nurse. Whoa. And your info makes so much sense. Thank you, Anthony. Um, incredible. Tara Farrell, I'm honored to have you here. By the way, you're doing, I know you do selfless work. And that's the thing with nurses. Like, I, I can't imagine being a nurse. I mean, that, that's just, that is literally, like, that's the, self, the selfless work. Like, that's where you're just, I mean... Whoa, it's mind-blowing because that is such a hard job caring for people and and then, you know, having to deal with the doctors and all their egos and stuff. Nurses really go through a lot. Brecklin, why will we all be diagnosed with autoimmune? 
Spirit of Compassion told me when I was younger, okay, that we're going to see chronic illness rise like we've ne never before in history. And just in the last 20 years, okay, it, it, it's, it's, it's an epic, legendary height of, of autoimmune now, right? And chronic illness and symptoms, conditions. Everybody has a symptom. Everybody's getting a condition, right? And, but now we're at this place. And I talk about that in the book, Medical Medium Book. It's a very spiritual book, by the way. And I talk about the quickening and how things are happening faster. Um, Artic says, you wouldn't know you have no real medical knowledge. Artic on TikTok, I wouldn't know I have no real medical knowledge. That's a really nice thing to say to a guy that's helping, that's helped so many people out all these years. Um, Artic, what's your number? Is it, what, what's your number? I'm just going to try 666. Yeah, I got you. Arctic. Your number was 666. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy that your number is 666? Hey, yes, I got no medical. What would I know? I'm not a medical doctor. Uh-huh. Let's see. Uh, well, why are all the medical doctors out there supporting me? Why do they stand by me? Quitting in medical clinics. Huh? You don't know why? What? Why are doctors on the forewords of the books, the medical medium books? With thriving practices. Why is there a cardiologist on the front of the medical medium new edition? Dr. Younger, an incredible doctor, by the way. Give him a plug. The guy's incredible. I'm going to have him on. I'm, I'm going to have Dr. Alejandro Younger on. One of the best doctors out there in the world, right? Anyway, you know, so why are all the doctors in the books? Um, why are the most powerful people in the world that have money and access to every doctor they can find on the planet? And they can fly their private jets to anywhere on the globe to get medical help. How come Arctic, they knock on my door? Uh-huh. But yeah, but I'm not a medical doctor, so what do I know? Good job, Arctic. Arctic. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm just going to hang up. Not to mention tens of thousands of healing stories, millions of people healing around the world. Um, another Oscar winner? No. You guys are amazing. So, ignore the trolls. Toron. Toron B. You know, it's just, it's, it's hard to ignore them. R6666 and <laughs> Dobry. Dr. Sherry Green. An incredible medical doctor, by the way. You know, what happens is that Science research is taking medical medium information and publishing it now. So, just so you know, um, at least a dozen pieces of, of incredible information that come out of Medical Medium New Edition is being taken by research and science after it's already been published. Fact. Arctic. Fact. Anyway, it's a good laugh. You guys, you knew you were going to see the phone. Look, you guys. All right, so we're talking about autoimmune. So we're coming up on a level that no one's ever been seen before. And I'm giving you, if you want to call it a prediction, call it a prediction. If you want to call it insight, call it insight. If you want to call it foresight, call it foresight. If you want to call it a lucky guess, I don't care. Call it a lucky guess. But you guys are going to see some things that you've never seen before coming up. I'm just letting you know. Chronic illness and autoimmune. Like we're, we're like unprecedented. It's already bad as it is, but we're talking about unprecedented, like never before in our history with children and adults. Just around the corner in the next six months, two year, two years, three years. It's, it's just, you know, it's going to be unbelievable, really. So, um, so you guys are all powerhouses that have information to help people heal. So I'm kind of giving you guys the run about the run, like the run so you know what's up. Show the other book again, not the medical medium one, but the other book, Cleanse the Heal. So I'm giving you guys, I'm running it by you guys, giving you guys the run by. It's Cle Medical Medium Cleanse the Heal right here. It's on sale at Amazon.com, 51% off, so is Medical Medium. Get it free at the library too. If you all get it at the library, I don't care. I just want you to have it. If I know you have it, then, I, then, then that's what matters. I hear people's success stories every day with medical medium information. Dental Center of Westport, amazing. Masha, Masha, um, you guys, the dental center of Westport, 
that right there, there's no better in the dental world, in, in my opinion. That's Masha and Gina. So, yeah. So that's their handle. So, look for it. Go find their 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 handle and everything. So, you guys... Um, Anyway, the point I'm trying to make before I let you guys go and you know go and all that is that we're coming to a place where we're, we're getting to a, where it's literally going to be sickness like no one's ever seen. So you guys are going to be holding knowledge and information, right? That is going to change lives. It's in your hands too, and and that's important to know from what you're going to see coming up. And your keto diet isn't going to fix what's coming up with people. You know, your fancy diets aren't going to fix what's coming up with people. Your gut health supplements aren't going to fix people, you know, what's happening. And, like the, you know, and just keep that in mind how things work out there. Chrissy says, don't give them your energy where energy flows, your attention goes. Love to hear more about the quickening. I, look, I love that comment, seriously, but you got you to gotta call them out sometimes, you know. It's not giving them your energy it's it's you got to stand up sometimes because they're still going to do their damage out there right and they're still going to do that kind of thing and you yeah we can totally ignore them but if you don't if you don't talk about it a little so other people are aware because what happens is i see so many people out there they want to try the information they want to use it and then a troll comes by and trips them up and stop somebody from getting their lives saved. And so you got to call them out once in a while, you know. It's important. But I, I get what you're saying. You don't want to give them too much energy. But you do. You do have to stand up for yourself. I want you guys to be able to stand up for yourself too. Because um, when you're fighting darkness, because they work for darkness is what happens, right? So, and you were just asking, we'll talk more about the quickening. Well, the quickening is about the darkness that's coming upon and, you know, coming upon the world as it does. And I talk about that, how things are happening faster and faster, but yet people don't have that control, right? Unless they turn their free will into, into that area of, of taking control. But people are being pushed away from using their free will, right? I like your tact, pelp him. You, you like the tactic of handling trolls, I'm honored. Um, but yeah, it's important to address it because if you don't fight darkness, and darkness just takes over and takes over and takes over, and then you just become that, that lamb, and then you get slaughtered, right? So that's what happens. You become the lamb, and you get slaughtered, and that's how it works, right? So you got to at least address darkness, right? You don't have to go into a bloody battle, but you got to address it sometimes because what happens is darkness just takes too much, right? They take too much. They're overreaching. So darkness takes too much, too much into overreaching. What Spirit of Compassion told me that darkness can go get so overreaching. It's like the Jews, right? It, it, no one, everybody tried to put a blind eye to the fact that the Jews were targeted, right? And right in World War II, right before World War II, right there, that they were targeted. And everybody kind of Put, put the blind eye up, right? No one wanted to talk about it. No one wanted to say it was bad. And so then the darkness, Hitler, took more control. And then more control, because what Hitler was noticing, Hitler noticed that no one was sticking up for the Jews. No one. And he was like, this is too good to be true. So the darkness was cold white spring. This is interesting, by the way. The, what, what Hitler did was he said, he basically what he said was, I have never ending power now. I can be unstoppable because no one's even sticking up for the Jews. No one's looking out for the Jews. Everybody's turning away. No one wants to even care. And so what darkness did, which Hitler and Hitler's right, den of thieves, right? All of it, what, what Hitler did was I can take it all now because no one's sticking up for the Jews. I could take it all. So let's gas six million Jews. Let's just do it. And we're not going to be stopped, right? Right? We're not going to be stopped until the United States, right, decided to say, that's enough, right? The United States decided to say, that's enough and fought back. Thank God, right? Thank God for this country to step up because Hitler gassed six million Jews but was going to gas every Jew on the planet, right? Right? And nothing was going to stop him. But see, if the United States backed down and hid away, 
and decided to just do the blind eye thing, like, don't feed into darkness. We don't want to feed into darkness. No, let Hitler kill another million Jews. Don't feed into darkness. No, no, don't see it. Don't see it. Don't address it because you'll just bring negativity if you address it. If the U.S. did that, Hitler would have wiped out every single Jewish person. It would have been absolute, total, 100% genocide without it stopping. Like 100% genocide. There wouldn't be anybody with a Jewish gene, with anything in their, they wouldn't even, you wouldn't be able to be Jewish if you wanted to. You wouldn't be able to convert and you wouldn't be able to, ha you wouldn't even be able to have the Jewish blood. You would be annihilated and exterminated. See? And the UK. Perky Peaches, you're right, in the UK. Give the UK some credit there. Perky Peaches, I'm sorry I didn't say the UK. That, thank you for, for, for reminding me. Of course, of course, right? In the UK and the US said, you know, we can't let this happen anymore, right? The Brits, right? They were just, we can't let this happen anymore. And so we have, so it, that's how it works. So it, it, we can't totally just pretend nothing bad is happening ever and nothing is going wrong. And that if you want to stay in that new age you want to stay in that new age belief that nothing bad can happen. You just stay away from it. Sure, I get it. But Castle says we need to stand up and fight. Yeah. Um, vibrant, nourished, vibrantly nourished. Said, Thank you for saying this. So important. Russia played a big part too. Whoa, cool. Darkness wants you to ignore it, right? Darkness wants you to ignore it. That's how it works. It just wants you to ignore it. That's how it's done, right? All these people are chronically ill and people are going to get sicker more, more than ever before. And they, they've all been swept under the carpet. So everybody's ignored everybody who's been sick for decades and decades and decades. Pepper seeds, I see it. Everybody's been ignored for decades. Maniza, hey. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is important information, all of it. Some of you guys have grandparents that were in the great grandparents that were in the Holocaust in Auschwitz, right? Yeah. yeah. So Maniza says new age people believe that there is no real darkness. That's really sad. That's really sad because, yeah. So that right there is, is a, you, you're allowed to believe anything you want to believe. If you want to believe, if you want to believe there's no darkness at all and there's no bad and you want to live in denial and ignorance and that's what you need to do, I, I'll support it because you have every right to believe anything you want to believe. If you want to believe that there is no darkness on this planet and nothing, there's no bad people, I support you, okay? Because, because you have a right to believe that. But I'm going to tell you something and you don't have to hear it. You don't have to listen. You can tune off. But there is darkness. And you're wrong. Because there is dark. We've had genocide. There's genocide now. We've had genocide forever, right? And the people that are... That are uh, people have had their hearts ripped out of their chest. Did you know that? Did you, did you know? Like over the, over, over the last few thousand years, right? People were crucified, right? In Rome. People were crucified in Rome. And I'm not just talking about Jesus Christ, right? They're just crucified, right? For, for no crime, right? That's how much darkness we've had, you know? We've had darkness throughout the centuries. We've had darkness. Look at the Native Americans, right? Genocide was upon the Native Americans here in the United States. Genocide was upon the Native Americans, right? And I still believe genocide is still upon the Native Americans, just so you know. I still believe now genocide is still upon the Native Americans. I, I really believe the Native Americans aren't protected. <laughs> I really believe that they're just still ignored. <laughs> I, I have Native American friends. I know this. And, and, um, and I believe too, from Spirit of Compassion, that Native Americans are still on the genocide list. Absolutely. I'm going to 369 cleanse. I'm heading there. Fasten your seatbelts, though. I don't know what kind of mood I'm in. 369 could be pretty intense. I'm heading to 369 Cleanse on IG. I'm head and I'm turning TikTok back on again, you guys. 
369 Cleanse on IG. I'm heading there now. Prepare to be kicked off by Instagram because that's what they're doing. So go to go to TikTok if you want a, a clean, you know, a clean view. All right, you guys. I just made some food. I'm gonna bite two bites of it. I'm actually gonna eat on 369 because I'm I'm starving tonight. I love you guys. Um, be good.